Hello again, welcome back. I created this game in just a week. It may seem normal and extremely basic, because it is. And when you lose, it crashes your entire system. You might be wondering, why? Why would anyone make or try something like this? Well, I wish I knew. Now, before we crash anything, we need a game. And for that, unlike my two last attempts where I went from the scratch approach, this time, I want to try a game engine. Something relevant. Something that is easy to learn. We're talking AAA level graphics. I end up choosing this bevy thing. But why? Why over these well-known game engines? I don't know. While their documentation was not perfect, it was still quite helpful. Combined with a random blog post I found online, learning it wasn't too difficult. I mean, I could feel my brain making neural pathways, so that was a good sign. What? What the f I know most of you would have no idea what are they looking at right now, but just remember this. Linker.exe. He is the antagonist of this story. Having that out of my way, constructing the game began. I didn't have any initial idea. I thought about making something similar to Geometry Dash, but nah. I tried to make something out of these assets, but nah. So, I landed on choosing what this TikTok generation likes. I started by doing some art, drew a background, and the player that I made look like me. You're going to see why later. Then I imported everything to the game to see how everything looked. Well, the background looks good, so... Too. Right after that, my brain had a seizure, and I spent a whole hour doing this. To refresh my... I started working on the animation system in my game. To put it simply, this bevy thing I was using is still very mature by the time making this video. Many things you would see in a full-blown game engine are still missing. So, it's a do-it-yourself situation. And me being the 10x developer that I am, I borrowed some code off the internet, wrote some myself, and what do you know? The animation system worked from the first try. It did not. I spent the whole f night wondering, thinking, what could possibly be wrong with my code? Do I even have the animation frames? Yes. Was I even loading the player's sprite sheet? Well, yes. Was the animation logic correct? Hmm. What if I just do this? Yep, that's exactly what happened. Since I was using my ultimate in productivity formula, that is, f around and find out. I stopped coding and went to drawing again. I fixed my player's line animation with a, uh, a very advanced technique and drew this little rooftop exit, as I didn't want my player to, you know, come out of thin air. I went back to coding again and resumed the work on the animations. And then, this happened. <laughs> that linker guy again. Yep. Once again. Well, time for a quick computer science lesson. Class, welcome again. Programmers, we tend to write code instructions in what is known as high level programming languages. Not this, too woke, too gay. Oh, yeah. These. The metal box you're watching me through right now cannot execute code as it is, as plain text. It must be compiled and turned into an executable. Then you should be able to run it. Compiling is not a singular step operation as it seems. In fact, it has a couple. The last one of them called linking, where our antagonist gathers all the small parts of our program, combines them all together, and finally, spits out the nice and fine executable. So, what does that mean? Well, See this? All it means is the linker had it shit itself somewhere and couldn't link our program. Theoretically, you can fix the error, if and only if you own the code. In my case, as I was using a couple of external libraries, one of which is the game engine itself, I couldn't do anything really. Tried to find a solution online, but nothing seemed to work. All I could do was clean, rebuild everything, which makes my computer sound like a 747 suspiciously heading into a skyscraper. And pray. Pray it won't happen ever again. With that temporary fix, I started working on the game loop. 
With that temporary fix I started working on the game loop. I wanted the game to start with me getting out of that roof exit, walk for a bit, start running and keep on running. The idea that started forming inside my skull was something like vector, but instead of levels, you have an infinite generated platforms you the player need to jump from one to the other. While jumping is the most common game mechanic out there, implementing it is not that hard. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's not... Uh... It's not the heart. The only challenge that is lurking around it is making it feel good. And that, and that haunted me throughout the development of this game, only because he had chosen to use physics. Holy. As the game started to form itself and take the shape that my genius had planned for, I spent some time just playing around changing some parameters, making this parallax background effect and tinkering my head with some easing functions. What's that you may be asking? They just make stuff go a bit smoother. You know, more, uh, math. To clear my head for a bit, I did some relatively small tasks, like making this cool text before you start the game, this smooth camera focus on the player that I obviously had no issue with whatsoever. <laughs> what? Okay, this should work. <laughs> some advanced sound engineering and asked my friend nicely to make me a soundtrack for the game. I also was experiencing some annoying weird bug that made the background layers go out of order for absolutely no f In addition to all of that, I drew these buildings, this rooftop exit, and this warning sign. As I thought having some dude running on scrolling black boxes is a bit lame. Importing them to the game resulted in uh, blowing everything. What? Mm, okay, what is going on? Okay, looking good. Oh. It wasn't really a straightforward process, but you know what they say. Nothing is straight in June. Then I wanted to add something every game has, something players wouldn't have any good experience without, something that will make game pop out. That thing was a bar. <clears throat> I mean, a bar. Originally, I thought of making it a stamina bar that decreases whenever the player jumps. However, given the context of the game, it didn't really make any sense. So, I turned it into more like a timer that decreases every second. You can replenish it with these glitchy squared looking things that I tried to draw by hand but ended up writing a... a... <coughs> a python script to generate them. Finally, I started making some minor adjustments, some minor adjustments, some minor adjustments. Yep. These linking errors, yet again. They were slowly swallowing my brain. In total, I have encountered them. I accepted the curse that was upon me and just continued working on what mattered. I readjusted some settings, added this score counter, and these subtitles that give some backstory to the game. And this, warm, cozy, ambient light. It was only lacking the crashing functionality. Triggering a system crash on both Windows and Linux takes one command, but I wanted to do it through code. So naturally, I went to Google again and borrowed some. The real question was, how does it work? What? Vsauce music kicks in and expects me to explain everything. I don't really know, but according to some undocumented All documentation of undocumented is 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 And well, it worked. I could have made it delete all of your system files and here is of me doing that, but I knew some brain dead people would use it to harm others, so a quick blue screen prank shouldn't be harmful. Though, don't try it on your or someone else's machine. Oh yeah. Oh, I see. No. Uh, can you show me the executable real quick? Uh. Oh. Ah, uh, that's that's the older version. Oh. Yeah, I, 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 I've, oh. Sent, I've, sent, I've sent you. I've sent you the uh, enhanced version. Old version. Ah, oh, I see. Delete it. Yeah, open it. Nice. Nah, Which uh... <laughs> Oh What do you think about the soundtrack? It's nice. Yeah, my friend made it. I see. You better not to lose. 
Yeah. They replenish the bo- Oh! Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I feel so bad. I feel so bad. <laughs> Now after I destroyed my reputation before even having one, let me tell you about the sponsor of today's video. For people like me with barely functioning brains, I hate reading endless pages just to not comprehend a thing. Really? My favorite thing about it is they teach by doing, not just by watching some old fila reading out of some textbook. They cover multiple topics related to technology, programming, data analysis, physics, and math. Their ways of teaching are the most effective out there. Their lessons are filled with hands-on problems that will allow you to play with many different concepts, which also should help improve your problem-solving skills and develop some critical thinking inside that sphere bone. For starters, I would recommend their computer science courses. They will take you absolutely from knowing nothing to thinking in code. So, if you want to check them out and get all what I was yapping about for free and get a 20% off your annual subscription, click on the link down below in the description. <clears throat> for those who care, the game is fully open source. If you want to give it a try, make sure you download the version that says no b salt. Some of my friends tried it, but without any feedbacks. So let me know your thoughts. The only thing that drained me other than making the game or editing this video was those linking errors. Because every time I get one, I would have to sit there for a whole hour waiting for everything to recompile. And yeah, that's it.